Texas Rep. Joe Barton, having already apologized over a nude picture of him circulating online, said later Wednesday that the Capitol Police is investigating a potential crime against him involving explicit materials. Today, the Capitol Police reached out to me and offered to launch an investigation and I have accepted, the longtime Republican congressman said in a statement later Wednesday. Story continued below Barton's statement followed a report in the Washington Post. A woman told the Post she had a recording of a 2015 conversation in which he threatened to report her to the Capitol Police to protect himself after their relationship had ended. She also told the newspaper that she had received explicit material from the congressman during a relationship that lasted several years. In the Post article, Barton is quoted as saying to her I will be completely straight with you. I am ready if I have to, I don't want to, but I should take all this crap to the Capitol Hill police and have them launch an investigation. The Post said the woman spoke on the condition of anonymity. In response, Barton said the Dallas Morning News has identified a potential crime against me and the transcript referenced in the Washington Post may be evidence. He also reiterated that the relationship was consensual, and that when it came to an end, she threatened to publicly share my private photographs and intimate correspondence in retaliation. His statement concluded because of the pending investigation, we will have no further comment. Earlier in the day, Barton had apologized to his constituents over the explicit photo of him circulating online. While separated from my second wife prior to the divorce, I had sexual relationships with other mature adult women, Barton said in a statement first reported by the Texas Tribune. Each was consensual. Those relationships have ended. I am sorry I did not use better judgment during those days. I am sorry that I let my constituents down. The 68-year-old Barton has represented the Dallas area in the House since 1985. He is a former chairman of the Powerful Energy and Commerce Committee.